Hi everyone, today I'm going to share one of the simple tricks to have a backlink. Now you must have heard about this trick but yeah it, people do ignore some of the basic updates around it and it is a very helpful trick where you can get easily some of the backlinks which will help your google ranking. Well the trick is RSS feeds. I hope you have heard about RSS feeds but you may not have thought that it can give you a backlink but it does give a backlink and it is a very important settings that everyone should follow to make sure their blog post has the right RSS feed data. As a beginner, if you are not aware of what RSS feed is, then do check out our website where we have written some of the posts around RSS feeds and you can easily learn about it. But yeah, RSS feed is simply content syndication and most of the WordPress blogs do have that automatic capability. So you don't have to change any settings into your WordPress blog, but it is important that you check the settings around it. And if you do, if you're not aware what is a WordPress blog, then I have already created a full dedicated course around how you can create your WordPress blog from uh, a scratch. And that tutorial is already in my channel and you can watch it out to create your first WordPress website. Now, I hope you are aware of backlink but yeah backlink is one of the most important bit which people do tend to miss out when they start their blogging journey. It's initially it may not be that important and that is where RSS feed helps us in creating that backlink. Apart from backlink RSS feed do help us in getting a bit of a partnership built as well and it does help in creating a bit of a reputation from our data perspective where some of the websites which use the RSS feed data will make sure your data where your website data is being consumed by the users who can read your content properly. Now let's jump onto the screen and see what settings I am talking about and how what you need to do to create your RSS feed. So in the screen you can see my website deepavallyseotips.com and I have directly jumped into have logged into my wordpress dashboard if you're not aware then don't worry you can check out my video but i have directly jumped into the rank math seo plugin which is uh, one of the famous plugin for seos and this setting is in Yoast and other plugins as well so i'm i'm using rank math so i'm sharing it in the rank math in rank math you need to go to general settings go to others over here you will see RSS before content, RSS after content. Now normally these boxes are empty and people do forget to add anything around it and they just miss it out. But what you need to do is under RSS before content you should add these tags. These are the variables basically it means that the post link, featured image and the blog link will come before your RSS feed data and what link will come after normally it is blank but you can say to the plugin that it should have the post so it will be the text the post post link first appeared on which blog and is written by author link now why these settings are important because it creates a reputation for you if you have written an article blog post and someone cannot steal your content so there are cases where people do use rss feeds to extract the data from a blog and steal it out the data and publish into their website. Some high authority websites also do such kind of uh, bits and uh, people with a low ranking or a low uh, authority do get penalized. So this text is very important to make sure the data whoever is copying in knows from where the data is coming from. And this will help you in gaining a backlink as most of the reputed sites if they refer to your content to write any other blog article will refer to your website easily and some of the automatic tools will automatically republish the data as well so there are multiple benefits around it now how you can validate whether rss data is working correctly in your wordpress website for that you need to go to validator.w3.org website this is a website where you can check check the rss feeds how to check it so I'm going to my website, I'll use any one of the articles. So six prompts to generate creative festive images. I'll copy it and I will paste the URL. And then after the slash, you need to add feed and then just press on check. 
and then you will see something like this congratulations so it means you uh, you have a valid rss feed however if there is certain error then you will have to check that error and uh, see whether it is uh, due to some of the changes you might have made in case if you put a post link and all those attributes and if it doesn't work then just remove it and test it first and then try to other way and if this issue comes in while testing the data then you can put a comment in the comment section and i'll try to figure it out what has happened so yeah this is one of the simple tricks that uh, people do forget and people do miss out some of the backlinks and this technique is also used as a as in making sure your content is uh, uh, being shareable it can be used by the other users and then it can help you in building the reputation around your content i hope this small video around rss feed would be helpful to you all and uh, i'll continue to make some such interesting videos to uh, you all and if you like the video till here then do press the like button and do subscribe to my channel and uh, i will see you in your next video thank you bye